All right, now I'm gonna show you how I make aprons. So I start with one whole feed bag and then I choose the part of the bag that I think would work best for the design of the apron. So I've taken this feed bag and I found another feed bag and I cut the portion off that I wanna use for the front of the apron. So here's the front of the apron. I measure it, this is gonna be a child size apron. And then I'm gonna show you what I do next to cut the shape. All right, this is my handy dandy little template that I use to cut out um, kind of triangles from the front of the apron to give it its shape. And so then I take my apron that I, piece that I chose, fold it in half. I place my little template and trace around it, which I already did, and then I'm gonna cut that shape off. All right, now that I've cut that template off, you can see I now have the base for my apron. And I like to put a double pocket along the front, so I need to get another bag and cut a strip to go across here to make my pocket out of. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, I used my second bag and I cut off the piece that I'm going to use for the pockets and they will fit right on top of here. And so it kind of looks seamless. I'm gonna use the rest of these pieces to make the piping that goes around the edge of my apron. And the next thing I do is I cut strips to make my piping that goes around my apron. So the piping, I fold up and I fold up and then I fold it all inward and it's gonna go across the top here for my piping. And I have a special tool that I use to attach it while I'm sewing. All right, I use this Martelli, it's called a zip gun clip system and I use it to attach my piping to the top of what is going to be my pocket. So I bought additional clips because it only came with eight and I need several of them when I make my apron. So basically I put my piping on, I slide my little tool on and I push and it clips right to my pocket. When I'm doing my aprons, I use a zigzag stitch. So I've started zigzagging and I'm gonna show you um, what I do when I come to one of these clips as I'm sewing. Um, basically, I'll stop my machine and I'll just slide this clip off and then I continue sewing till I get to the next one, slide it off, and this way it keeps my piping in place while I'm zigzag stitching it and attaching it to the top of the pocket. All right, you can see that I finished the piping along the top of where the pockets are going to be, and I've attached the pocket to the actual apron. Now I'm gonna be creating piping that's gonna go all the way around the apron, and then I will sew that piping on. All right, so as you can see, I now have all of the piping attached using my clips and my little handy tool. It makes it so much easier because all of the piping is attached. And so now I'm just gonna sew, zigzag, sew around the edges and attach all the piping. All right, my piping is done all the way around my bag now. Got all of the piping done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna so one zigzag line down here to separate so that the apron has two separate pockets on the front. And now my apron has two front pockets. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the top for the neck and then the side straps to tie it. I've made a couple different ties for my aprons, but the ones I'm gonna use is the nylon um, strapping. And I also use these little D clips that I'm going to use um, for the neck and then for the ties around the apron. I've also used the bag to make piping and used those as handles too. And at the end of the video, I'll show you an example of what that looks like. All right, so my apron is completed. There's my child-sized apron right there. And here's my adult-sized here. I was explaining that sometimes I use piping to make the straps. So in this adult apron, I used piping um, which is just the bag um, to actually make the neck piece 
and the tie straps. And I still used a D-clip in here so it's adjustable. Whereas I used the nylon for the child size one. And then I also put it on the back for the tie straps. And I also sew uh, the ends so that they don't fray. So those ends are all sewn from the nylon. Hope you enjoyed my aprons.